mean, I, I don't really want problems with anybody. I just want to make music and make money. Like Nicki I Minaj had to take out Cardi's name because according to Nicki Minaj, Cardi did not want her name in it. Do you know what the f it is to sit in your f room for hours and days at a time writing rap? Real f never do that. You never attack a woman. Not my coach because you never helped me to get in this career and I'm nothing like you. So you, I'm definitely not your f son. We could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. Nicki Minaj and Cardi B have a feud for a reason. From the beginning, they were destined to be pitted against each other. Industry pressure and nasty rumors led them to trashing each other in rap verses and Cardi B physically attacking Nicki Minaj at Fashion Week. On social media, they have used their platforms to try and destroy each other's reputations. And in recent years, their fight continues on. So let's get into it. Personally, I was nervous to make this video because I'm a big fan of both of these women. I've been a big fan of Nicki Minaj's for a while. I remember seeing her on tour with Britney Spears and then Cardi B has some hits as well. So I like both of them and today I'm not picking a side, but I'm going to try to decipher what's really going on with this feud between Nicki and Cardi because I haven't really followed it that closely, but I've known about it for so long and after doing a deeper dive, I didn't realize how extensive everything would be. Now, there are some questions on when this beef initially started, because some say in March 2017, Nicki Minaj liked a comment dissing Cardi B's rapping on a video posted on social media. Yet, some people have pointed out that this may be fake, because you can create, you know, screenshots where it shows that a celebrity had liked a tweet when they really didn't do it. I mean, we are far advanced in technology where now you can just create like deep fakes and have people's voices mimicked but yeah i mean it's easy to make a fake screenshot but some people say that's where everything began now there's obviously some competition in the rap industry and at some points Nicki minaj has made some comments and there are different rappers who kind of want to accept that this comment is about them and there was a moment where people felt like Nicki minaj had made a comment about cardi b on a song with cardi b's boyfriend at the time now the song features Offset, 21 Savage, and Nicki Minaj. And she raps, <clears throat> yo, Lil B, I heard these labels are trying to make another me. Everything you get in little ho is because of me. Mm. This article claims, however, Nicki has long been accused of pulling levers behind the scenes to try and prevent the rise of other female rappers. This was a charge leveled at her by Remy Ma, who claimed in an interview that Nicki was trying to stop her bag. And it seems like Cardi B over time has also accused Nicki of doing the same. So Nicki Minaj moved forward with the song No Flag featuring Offset and 21. And when there was a music video proposal, supposedly Cardi B tried to turn Offset and 21 Savage against Nicki Minaj, according to Nicki herself. So Offset and 21 Savage didn't do that London on the track record because she said that I was talking about her. It was clear that she wanted to turn them against me and she succeeded. Nikki also went on to clarify that this lyric wasn't ever about Cardi. So it wasn't about her. It wasn't about that situation. She says it's unrelated. And it actually seems like after this confusion, these two actually started to get along for a bit. At least Nicki Minaj was being kind to Cardi on Twitter because Cardi B had a number one hit. And she said that this was a record breaking achievement. Barty, this is the only thing that matters. Enjoy it. She tagged Cardi. It was all love. Love. Imagine if they did get along and they had like a joint album like that would be insane I see all these joint albums with Drake like you know collaborating with other people like his one he had with future but um, yeah, imagine like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, that would be next level. In 2017, Cardi B did address the rumored beef between her and Nicki Minaj, and she said she doesn't want any problems with anybody. She said she doesn't do the industry beef and she's just trying to make her money. People keep trying to pit you against Nicki Minaj and you guys are like shutting it down. Talk to me about that and, and, and sort of just how you want to remain that, that girl friendship. 
I mean, I, I don't really want problems with anybody. I don't want to. I don't want to be like Queen. I don't want to be no this. I don't want to be no that. I just want to make music and make money. Like I, I really don't have time to look at other women, what they doing. I'm, I'm myself. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got a problem with me. I don't got a problem with them. Honestly, that seems like a respectful response from Cardi B. She said she doesn't want to be a queen. She doesn't want to like to ha dethrone anyone. She's just doing her own thing. And I think that's the right mentality to have. But she does continue talking about this drama. I'm guessing just because the fans really like kept it going. So like it was something that she had to address or maybe she got some clout uh, like off of talking about it. But she claims that, you know, it's really internet made up. She's about to release her album, Invasion of Privacy and she said that like she's spoken to her before they had a decent interaction like there's really no problems between herself and nikki i don't really have the time for that like it's like if if you if you ain't my man or if you're not taking my money from me you're not stopping my money then i don't really give a about about you people just want to pin it so much because it's entertainment but they don't want to handle their own beef and I spoke to her before in person, just like we're talking right now, like this close mm -hmm. to each other. So it's just like I always say, like, I don't ever want nobody sneak this at me. I'm not the type of person that if there's something that is that you could talk it out, you could talk it out because it's not always rah, 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 this, rah, 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 that because we grown. In this moment, it seems like Cardi is trying to take an adult approach. And to be honest, she did start off on reality TV. If you did not see her on her previous show, it was a lot. And she probably learned a lot of lessons with the, you know, the fighting bit and how it could be just not worth it. But I mean, things will change as we progress throughout this video. Now let's get into Motorsport because that is a collaboration between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. This was a song from the Migos, which is a rap group, and Cardi's married to one of those members. Nicki Minaj was featured on a song as well as Cardi, and Nicki complained that Cardi hadn't been adequately grateful that Nicki allowed the rising rapper to be included on Motorsport because I guess it was a collab with the Migos, and then maybe Cardi was added later on. On, I don't know. That's what I'm assuming from this. During an interview on The Nort Show in November 2017, Cardi B confirmed Nicki's initial verse on Motorsport was different than the final verse. It was later reported that Nicki was asked to alter her verse because Cardi was mad about the name drop and a line. So I guess Nicki was prepared to call somebody out and Cardi wasn't about it. So she had some authority here you know when i when i when i heard the track right her verse wasn't finished well it's not the verse that is on right now and um you know quavo told me like to get on the song and i just felt like it's a perfect opportunity for me to be on a track that is something that's big like them True. Now let's talk about why Cardi B would have any feelings about Nicki's verse. Because like she said, she was at the beginning of her career. So to file a complaint is pretty, you know, intent. Not like she filed anything. She probably just spoke to the Migos. But the original rap actually called out Cardi by name. She said, I'm with a couple bad Bs that will rip the party. If Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi. And then it goes into like, I believe the original verse i don't know why cardi b would have an issue with Nicki minaj calling her out maybe someone can comment below and like explain like i mean i thought qb was like quarterback like right i, I don't know why that would be bad Nicki minaj tweeted how can you say someone changed their verse and forgot to say quavo told me to remove my singing part which i loved and atlantic told me to remove your name from my verse per your request so how were those changes going to happen if i didn't change my verse so cardi did that interview and people were not about it and Nicki said like like, hey, like, how are you going to tell this story but not tell them that I used your name and that you, like, had my singing part removed? And there was just, like, a lot that you requested and the changes were made. So why didn't you, like, explain what they were? Nicki Minaj straight up said, I'm with a couple bad that'll rip the party. If Cardi is the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi. So it had to get changed to, if Quavo is the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi. So as you can see, Nicki Minaj had to take out Cardi's name because according to Nicki Minaj, Cardi did not want her name in it. So the thing is, Nicki Minaj is saying that Cardi B is being messy. If you're gonna mention the fact that the song was changed, why didn't you mention that you were the one that wanted it changed? I kind of understand where Nicki Minaj is coming from because in that interview with Cardi, it seemed like she was almost trying to like talk crap about like, you know, the verse that Nicki had produced. 
And essentially, I mean, again, I don't understand why it's really a bad mention. It's not like she like, I don't think it's like a threat or anything, that original line. So um, I don't know why Cardi would be upset, but um, I think that it was kind of maybe like shady to Nikki's like talents. And then she didn't really properly explain why it was changed in the first place, because I believe it was approved by the record label and they had to go back and they get new changes. And that's what Nikki had to abide to. The only thing with Cardi that really, really, really hurt my feelings Yep. was the first interview she did after Motorsport came out. I remember like when I first came in the game, if a female of that stature had done a feature with me on it, I would only be, you know, singing their praises and uh, and, and saying thank you. The first interview she did after Motorsport came out, it just really hurt me because she looked so aggravated and angry and the only thing she kept saying was, oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that verse. I didn't hear that verse. She changed her verse. Like, I was like, what? The first thing out of your mouth when someone asks you about a Nicki Minaj feature is, she changed her verse. She didn't Excuse me? It's because of the Nicki hate parade that she felt the comfortability to address me in that matter. I can see where Nicki Minaj is coming from because in that interview, Cardi acknowledges that she's new to the industry. It'd be great for her to be on a track with two really big artists, but then kind of like, you know, snubbing Nicki when it comes to her original verse. And I think Nicki is hurt by the situation because Cardi started dating one of the Migos. She had an iffy relationship with that group. Allegedly, according to Nicki, Cardi B, and the Migos wanted Nicki Minaj to look like the bad guy. Nicki Minaj being painted as the bad guy is what she's talking about in her song Chun-Li. So Nicki's next move is to put out a song titled Chun-Li. In the song she raps, I get it, they're painting me out to be the bad guy. Well, it's the last time you're gonna see a bad guy do the rap game like me. She says they get on their keyboards and make me the bad guy, Chun-Li, and um, it seems like she's kind of calling out what happened with this feature and them trying to make her look like she was hard to work with. I wasn't dissing you. And then on Motorsport, you said I was dissing you because I called you a quarterback. When Lil Wayne said that was the best compliment I've ever given a female rapper ever. Then they told, they said, they said that I was dissing Offset on the, um, me and my amigos, no, not Offset. That's a metaphor. That's a... A bar that I wasn't dissing Offset, but she told him I was dissing him. But so she's they've planted a lot of this, you know, seeds for them not to for those people not to like me. So tension between these two are at an all time high. And then it is fashion week. And there's an interaction between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B at one of these New York fashion week parties. An eyewitness claims that Nicki Minaj was finishing up a conversation when Cardi B tried to attack her, but Nicki's security guards intervened. A video from the Harper's Bazaar Icons party circulating on social media showed Cardi B lunging towards someone and being held back. Another video showed the rapper being escorted out of the event by security. <laughs> So obviously it's a chaotic moment, it's pretty intense. You can see that Cardi is filled with rage, which I hope she's gotten that under control because the photos that came out the next day showed her with a huge lump on her head. <gasps> Ouch, even look at this, I feel like I'm gonna close my eyes because I feel like, oh God, it looks so painful. I've never had anything that looks like that. Please like never give me anything like that. I don't want that. Nicki Minaj said that she was mortified and humiliated after that party where Cardi B threw a shoe at her. She said the way they passed by looking at this disgusting commotion, I'll never forget. And I don't think like Nicki really wants to make an entire scene of everything. So she probably did feel like just embarrassed that like this type of like fight broke out in this way in front of everyone. It does remind me a little bit of Cardi B and her reality TV past. And maybe that's kind of like where her instincts went because that's what she was used to but clearly it doesn't like translate in the real world it's great for the hip-hop like reality tv show that she was on but like realistically it's not gonna look good at these like high fashion new york parties the other night i was a part of something so mortifying and so humiliating to go through in front of a bunch of upper echelon and it's not about white or black it's about upper echelon people who are you know, the people who have their lives together, the way they pass by looking at this disgusting commotion, I will never forget. I was mortified. 
I was in Alexander Voltaire gown, okay, mm -hmm. off the motherfucking runway, okay, mm -hmm. and I could not believe how humiliated it all felt because we, and I use we loosely, and I'm going to clarify we, how we made ourselves look. At this point, Nicki Minaj has been in the entertainment industry for a while, so I think she kind of knows better. And I'm sure Cardi didn't feel good about it either, leaving the event barefoot with her dress ripped and her butt out. Cardi did address the situation in her own way on Instagram. She did not call out Nicki by name, but alluded to the fight and said that she was sparked because her mothering skills were being disparaged. She and Offset recently had their first child together, and she claims that Nicki was talking about her parenting skills. So Cardi believes that Nicki was out here liking comments about Cardi being a bad mother and her parenting skills, and she really felt hurt by that, and that's why she attacked her at the party. But Nicki's denying this. She said, I want to say that I would never discuss anyone's child. It's so sad for someone to pin that on me because I'm the bad guy and they know people would believe them. I want to say that I would never discuss anyone's child. And it's so sad that for someone to pin that on me because I'm the bad guy and they know people would believe them. So let me just go on record having said I would never talk about anyone's child or parenting. I don't care about anyone's parenting. I don't give a shit. And it's so crazy to me that people always need to make Onika the bad guy. Supposedly, this is a tweet that Nicki Minaj liked, and the I guess it's accusing Cardi of sending a message to her baby girl by supporting someone who is a criminal, and it makes them uncomfortable. But I guess it was discovered that this is a fake like. These fake screenshots, I'm telling you people, I don't know if this is the screenshot that upset Cardi, but a lot of people believe that. After Cardi made that post on Instagram, Nicki Minaj decided to address the situation once again on her Queen radio show. A lot of uh, lies about me, and, and um, I never normally defend myself, but I can't do that anymore. I have to defend myself and let people know these lies are ridiculous. In this episode, Nicki Minaj does not hold back because she actually speaks a little bit about Cardi and she even has someone call in and explain that Cardi went off on them on social media saying things about their child who had been deceased and some really foul things. So there's a lot of people listening. Nicki Minaj knows this and she's sharing, I guess, our platform with people who want to talk about their experience with Cardi B. That late, that girl on the phone, there's somebody that I want to get on the phone really, really quickly before I get into some things because we we gonna get into some things. Clarissa? Yeah, I hear you. All right. Now tell us why Brooke reached out to you and what you want to let the people know because there's millions of people listening and we wanted to hook up and be there for you. What you wanted to let the people know today? So once that happened, she went to my Instagram and she must have read my bio. And my bio is saying rest in peace to my son that passed away. So mm -hmm. when she read my bio, that's when she came back at me with the comment and was like, oh, bitch, that's why you shouldn't have been on drugs, maybe your baby would have been alive. She was like, fuck you and your kids. And it was just like a whole bunch. She called my son a monkey. So she, are you a, are you a black woman, ma'am? Yes, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican and black. Okay. She called your child a monkey. Your dead child. Rest in peace to your child. She called your child a monkey and said if you wouldn't have been doing some nonsense that your child would have been alive. And she doesn't know you. Now, in the land of, you know, face screenshots, I don't know what is real. But, I mean, I do believe that this caller probably called in and... I mean, why would they lie about this? And they kind of seem like passionate about their story. Plus there are screenshots going around where you can see that Cardi B's official handle is saying exactly what they just talked about, which is just all so foul. Again, I can't confirm or deny the legitimacy of these you know messages but they're at least talking about it on the radio so it, it makes me I, I, I at least assume that they did their due diligence and like they, they confirmed that this is really an interaction we don't know what the relationship between cardi b and this woman is she claims she doesn't even know her so there's a lot to process here calling a dead child a monkey but telling people somebody talked about your child that never talked about your mother child so you can get some 
sympathy points. Nicki Minaj is not having it. I mean, I, uh, I'm like, I'm scared. I like, I don't want to get yelled at by Nicki Minaj. I would be actually so scared. But um, yeah, she's going off on her. And honestly, like, if this is all true, it's really bad behavior. And even like speaking about someone's child or their family that way. And also like, I don't know. I don't have time to go on social media and do all of that. So it just seems just all really icky. FYI, she refers to black women as monkeys and roaches. <gasps> roaches! This is, but these are the women, th these are the women going hard for her. The roaches. Black women's is roaches now, child. We roaches, be clear. This is honestly where the feud really just like kicks in because Nicki Minaj is not holding back. I think at this point, like she feels so offended that Cardi B would like assume that she would talk about her child and then fight her over it. And now she's just like kind of saying everything that she's been thinking this entire time, which I mean, that's the point of her queen radio. You know, Cardi B likes to reply on Instagram and Nicki Minaj likes to get on the radio and go off. You just had the biggest blessing of your life with a child. And in two weeks, you have attacked three women, one at fashion week and left looking the way you left looking so that people could point their fingers at our culture and at our community and laugh at us some more. To not was nuts. It was, uh, it was nuts. It was nuts. It was nuts. You, the Lord gave you a blessing of a beautiful bundle of joy. And the only thing on your mind once you gave birth was to attack people and to stop their bags. So she's talking about it all. And she goes on to explain that, like, you know, Cardi B, you do have a new baby. Like, why are you concerned about this? Like, I, I mean, I don't think Nicki Minaj has her child yet at this point, her son. Um, I think she only has one child, but I, I believe that she's still, you know, working on that. And Cardi B has her baby. And it's like, why are you distracted by me? And she's clearly very angry. To be honest, I've never really heard Nicki Minaj go off like this. So doing the research into this video, I kind of like realized like, oh, their feud is like a real feud. I mean, like she really was hurt and upset and angry. Do you know what the f it is to sit in your f room for hours and days at a time writing raps? You came into my f culture i never had the dj to play my songs you calling black women roaches you beat getting girls beat up because of what your man doing no real never do that you never attack the woman you never attack the woman you take that up with your man out of here now that was a lot to unpack i mean Nicki minaj did not hold back and that is a fact look at me like i feel like i just wrapped right there did i but actually um Cardi B has a sister named Hennessy, and Hennessy decides to step in. Essentially calling Nicki Minaj a crackhead, um, somebody said that Cardi has no stage presence, and Hennessy, Cardi's sister, replied and said, but Nicki be on drugs on stage looking like a crackhead. Hennessy goes on to post much more, and she claims that Nicki leaked Cardi's number to her fan pages, and she did the same things to Mariah Lynn. She says, none of you are waking up to death threats every day, made up stories that could affect my real life and my real relationships, claiming that at this point, after all of this, you know, Cardi B's information has been leaked and now she's getting harassed and the fan base is attacking their entire family. And, you know, Nicki Minaj, she's not going to, like, allow anyone to have the last word. So she addresses Hennessy and Cardi on her podcast or on her radio, I guess. Is it a podcast? I don't, I'm like, I don't know where it's at. I'm assuming it's like a podcast, but it's not like on a radio station, right? Anyways, she addresses Hennessy and the family and continues to talk about their feud on her show. You know what? Before we get into some things, because you could tell I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't. Like, I have protected people that I shouldn't protect. You got your family saying that I need to control my fans, but you're not controlling your family when they're calling me saying I'm on stage looking like a cat. So what's good, girl? Like, are we going to be, you know, civilized and mature and tell everyone around us to relax or not? So Cardi's pretty radio silent right now. Maybe she had like shifted into motherhood mode, just focusing on her baby, you know, taking a step back to reflect on things. And it seems like Nikki was like, you know, kind of at least there she sounded a little bit open to like, you know, making up or at least taking a chill pill and calming down their fan bases. But, uh, I, you know, Hennessy really did not help the situation, especially trying to like push a narrative that Nikki is on some kind of drugs. And then you go and you got your sister calling me a crackhead and saying I'm leaking numbers and saying she can't control your sister, but you want me to control millions of fans? Lying on me, telling me I leak numbers of people I've never had in my life? I've never leaked a number in my life on, on God. And y'all continue to lie on me because it's so important for you to make me look like a bad person. And y'all so 
f***ing obsessed with me. Leave me alone. You're always on live talking about my fans. Your sister's talking about me and my friends. Leave us alone. What is your problem? And some shit. Nobody ain't say Nicki name. Your sister bringing up Nicki. For what? Let's make our music and just be happy. Like, what is going on? This is ridiculous. So in my opinion, it seems like in episode like eight, you know, Nicki Minaj was really upset and going after Cardi and just unpacking everything that she has been feeling. In episode 10, she's upset about Hennessy, but she's also like trying to like alleviate the situation. She's kind of like, let's just do our own thing. Like, let's tell our fan bases to chill and move on. But then Cardi finally responds and she is not happy. So there's no like, you know, friendship that's going to happen here. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about I'm standing right here. Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the f*** out of here. And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brung it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a f hot minute first of all you change your verse two or three times and the day before we were supposed to do the motorsport video you turned in your last verse of it and i was not feeling of you talking about oh if cardi the qb i'm nick lombardi following it up with my son go sit on a party not my coach because you never helped me to get in this career and i'm nothing like you so you i'm definitely not your son so Cardi's taking it way back and addressing a bunch of different things, including the motorsport situation, saying that Nicki Minaj, like, you know, didn't really give the context about the last minute switch up. And, you know, I kind of understand the sport reference. I mean, when I read the rap, I, my brain did not like really comprehend. But if she's trying to allude that she's her mentor, maybe Cardi doesn't feel like she's been a mentor to her. Seeing like Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj it does seem like Nicki and Ice Spice are working together a lot. This was really their first like collaboration. And I don't think they like worked in the studio together like kind of the Migos just like brought Cardi in after the fact but Cardi continues to address that and much more tell me if this don't make sense how come my phone number got leaked one hour after the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks a couple of months I'm not sure when you know that whole Gwyneth situation was happening and Raleigh used to have her number Jason Lee phone number just got leaked recently and who had his number Raleigh how come everybody that y'all have issues with that y'all have the numbers in y'all camp they numbers got leaked my sister just got into an argument with Raleigh right well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked because y'all don't have it how come my new number hasn't gotten leaked because y'all don't have it isn't that funny hmm and then the people that texted my phone that texted mariah lynn phone that texted jason lee phone were all barbs you're the common denominator on it so you tell me if you really want to talk about it you know where to link me we could always link up you know who to reach out you know we could settle it however you want to settle it we could talk about it or we could fight it out i'm with whatever but I'm sick and tired of that back and forth shit. I'm not doing it. I'm in a good space right now. Let me know what's up. So Cardi put out her message and Nikki, of course, responded. She said we can get on live and have the convo for the world to see or do a lie detector test together or do an interview on Queen Radio. Or we can both sit in a room together, hear a beat for the first time and have ourselves filmed writing to it. Hmm. I'm assuming she's talking about Cardi B here, but that seems like a really welcoming tweet. She also wrote, I'll pay you to take a lie detector test about every claim I made on Queen Radio. You won't. I must admit you're a convincing liar. You looked me dead in the face and said you told your man not to do the no flags video because I was dissing you. London on the track got the same call. Of course, Maury stepped in and said that he would be happy to host the lie detector show between these two which at this point it's just becoming a joke around the same time Nicki Minaj kind of tried to end the feud by saying okay guys let's focus on positive things only from here on out we're all so blessed I know this stuff can be entertaining and funny to a lot of people but I won't be discussing this nonsense anymore since 2018 not a lot has gone on there's been some sneak dissing and some like little raps but really there's been no interaction between the two like it was between Queen Radio and, and Cardi B's Instagram there's no clear information on the current status of the feud between Cardi and Nicki in 2023. The most recent incident occurred in August 2022 when they took to Twitter to call each other out after the release of Nicki's latest single. However, they were spotted chatting at the Met Gala in September 2023, which could indicate that they have put their differences aside. It seems that the feud has simmered down in recent years, but is unclear if they have fully reconciled or if there's still tension between them. Whether there's tension between them or not, I mean, I would hope 
hope they could like make amends but their fan bases definitely have a major feud against each other that seems to never end i always see people on tiktok and on twitter pitting them against each other and it's sad but there is a lot of context here and i learned a lot about their relationship so i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys